Hey there, this is Travis Wright. Today I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of how to extend the data model in Service Manager. Our scenario will be that we want to track a new identifier for the accounting department. And this identifier will be an auto-incrementing number that we can track each Windows computer in our environment. So to do this, I've started the Service Manager authoring tool. I click on the New Management Pack button here, and I can call this um, Accounting ID extension. Once I've created this new management pack, you can see it over here, and you can see that we've got a classes node here, but there's no classes inside of it yet. Now what we need to do is go and find the Windows Computer class so that we can tell the authoring tool we want to extend it. So we'll change our management pack filter in the class browser here to all management packs, and we'll type in Windows Computer. Next, we'll right-click on Windows Computer and choose View, and this will bring the class editor up over here on the left. And you can see that because Windows Computer is in the Windows Core Library Management Pack, which is a sealed management pack, all of the editor over here is disabled. Now, if we want to, we can right-click on Windows Computer and cho choose Extend Class. This will allow us to add a new property to the Windows Computer class. Here, the authoring tool is prompting us for which management pack we want to store our customization in. In this case, we'll store it in the Accounting ID Extension Management Pack we just created. Once we've done that, we can see that this portion of the editor is now editable. We can change the name of the class extension that we've created, provide an optional description, and most importantly for our scenario here, we're going to create property. We'll call this the accounting ID. Click create. And you can see over here on the right that we now have uh, properties of this property. So in this case, we may want to change a few things, like change the display name of the accounting ID property to accounting space ID so that, that looks nice. And then we can change auto increment to true. And then we want to insert in here a default value of open curly brace zero close curly brace and that's a key token that tells service manager to insert a value in there where that uh, that token is placed now we can also change some other properties so for example if we never want the value of this id to be longer than uh, maybe six characters or something like that we can change the maximum length to six here now that we've done this, let's save our management pack. And we'll now go and import our management pack into Service Manager. So here's our management pack. We'll hit import SCSM management pack accounting ID extension XML. And this will import the management pack into Service Manager. This extends the database schema to add the additional properties so that we have someplace to store the data. Now we can start the Service Manager console. Okay, now if we go to the Configuration Items workspace, and we go to a Computers view, and we click on Create Computer, you'll see first of all that over here on the Extensions tab, we have now the Accounting ID, and you can see that we have a number here too. Now if we want to, we could submit one here as an example, uh, so we'll call this Accounting.Test.Test1, and we'll submit this. <clears throat> So here's the computer we just created, and the auto-incrementing number of two was added. Now if we go and create a new computer, you can see that we pick up another number here, four. So we are auto-incrementing the number each time. That's it. Now if you wanted to, you could also customize the form to place this control here out on the form where it's more visible by other people. But that's a demonstration I'll do another time.